last thing, I mean, all of this, these are all principles. These are all some of the things I've learned over the, over the last few years. I want to leave you with two thoughts. Number one, being a founder is really, and CEO, either way, it's really hard, right? It's incredibly rewarding, but it's also very hard. You know, being the leader of a big organization is very hard. A small organization, I understand that leading is hard, right? So at the end of the day, one of the things I say to people is, you've got to do two things in that journey well. Number one, find your priest. Number two, claim your religion. So first of all, who is your priest? Any ideas on who your priest might be? Here's an answer on who it's not. It's not your spouse. It's not your significant other. Because at the end of the day, it turns out it's not really good for relationships to talk about your problems and bitch all the time to the person that you're committed to, right? Makes sense, right? So when I say find your priest, I'm like, find that like mind, somebody who is objective, even if you have to pay them. By the way, I have a coach. I've worked with the same coach for eight plus years, you know, since my uh, days at Google, right? And he is paid, in fact, to listen to me, bitch. But more than that, to reflect, re reflect back to me. And the one thing he knows about me is, guess what? He knows what my religion is, right? When I say he knows what my religion is, he knows what my values are. He knows the type of CEO I am. He, we've been on journeys about what I'm good at and what I suck at, right? There is no shame in having that conversation with him. It is okay to be my complete authentic self. In a way, I can't, I mean, of course I'm going to be authentic to our board, but my job is also not to go to my board and show them all my biggest points of weakness. My point is, that my job is to manage them and be authentic and get feedback, right? But to lead, they expect me to lead. So to who do I show my weaknesses, right? Who do I show my doubts to? Who do I say like, wow, I just really screwed up. Like, this feels really not good, right? And recover from that. And for most people, there's somebody on that journey that you need to find and bring along with you, whether it's uh, once a month, whether it's once a quarter, once it's one, you know, once a year, whether it's your mentor. I encourage you to find your priest. And as you do, to make sure you're claiming your religion, right? That you are, he, this is somebody who's authentically invested in who you are. They know your strengths. They know the companies, how the company pivots on your strengths and weaknesses. And they're there to talk it through with you. Mm -hmm.